In today's video, I'm going to troubleshoot connecting this Nikon DSLR to my Astroberry server for astrophotography. And so I was having some connection issues and having a lot of problems. So I went ahead and documented what was going on and I'll show you the fix. All right now here I am in Echoes. I'm running Astroberry and here is the Nikon profile. We're going to start this. And then over here, I'm going to get the camera and I'm going to connect. Okay, that did not connect. Let's try a different port. Okay, let's uh, stop this and reboot. All right, so we are connected. And here is what's going to happen. This is uh, very predictable at this point with this configuration. This is a Raspberry Pi 4. And I have four gigs of RAM. I have a gigantic battery powering the Nikon. And so when we go over to here, to the camera, and we set something, say we'll just um, run some single tests or some loops or whatnot, it will work and then it will quit. And so it's pretty consistent. And so let's just uh, verify that we can get this. Okay, so far it didn't work. Try it again. All right, so that's not working. Let's try it again. Okay, I have SD card set up instead of RAM, and then there's another one over here somewhere. Memory card on both of them. I've heard that you needed to do that instead of RAM. Uh, but I, this had been working. I'm on manual, I'm on bulb. When I'm getting an error, could not wait for event, and then there's a red notice failed to save image unspecified error. And so I had read that you needed to have both of these on to memory card. I also heard somebody say take the SD card out. Could try that, I've got two of them in there. Actually I only had one. So now there are no cards in there. Let's try that. Not working. Try and put an SD card in. Try that. Still not working. Hmm. Try and reboot again. This was working last night. Disconnect. And restart this. Okay, we're connected. Now let's see if we can get it to work this time. Okay, finally. Now. Notice that it says PC right here. And I see a similar window um, when the uh, using the ASI Air as soon as the ASI Air grabs it. Now we're using Astroberry. However, it, it behaves the same way. But here's what will happen. This will fail. And so if I do a loop, it's just a matter of time before this quits. Probably around five shots, maybe. and then it just dies. Okay. Let's see if we can stop it. Okay, let's see if it'll work. No. And then we get an error. Failed to save image, unspecified error. Read that warning. Images downloaded in the camera was saved in the camera's internal storage. Capture set to SD card. However, it is now dead. And it will not work now, period, without a reboot. And that's typical of what has been going on. 
So I'm going to try a powered hub and see if that makes any difference. And we'll go from there. Okay, so now I'm going to try and fix this. I have installed a powered hub. Here's the Nikon camera. And I have the hub going into one of the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi. Now what I suspected here from the beginning was that it would work some of the time because maybe the Raspberry Pi was delivering enough current and then it would fail because the camera started to draw your current, but I couldn't prove it because my I didn't have an extra hub. So I've done several tests and let's give this a try. Let's do say five seconds here. As you can see, I've already completed a test run up here. I did two 10 second exposures with a delay. And I've been doing this for several minutes now and I'm maintaining a PC connection here on the screen if you can see that. And it's just working so we can put it in a loop. And it appears to be fixed. So I am really happy that it was just that simple because I love this camera. This is my Nikon D7100. It takes really good photography, uh, astrophotography photos and just regular photos. And so now I have a, a tool that I can use as, as an optional camera alongside my telescope and I can run it with my Raspberry Pi. So if you'd like to see the build I'm going to do with this Raspberry Pi, Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for updates. I'll see you next time.